Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday, September 8th. Markets are closed. I want to take a look back at last week and um, talk about first um, this huge um, trade that was put on in the 10-year note on Friday just before the non-farm payroll came out. If you look right here on the left of the screen, you can see the time was 7.06 a.m. So the non-farm payroll report came out at um, 7.30 a.m., so about 24 minutes before the report, and 45,500 contracts. That is a huge order. And so um, somebody got a really big payday. A um, couple of things. When you put a big order like that on, it's going to drive the market directionally no matter what the report said. <laughs> so it pushed price down immediately. Here's the 10 year note. Here's the end of the day. And um, they um, got a huge payday on this. They got 22,775,000 if they held it through the close and let the option expire. However, my question is, is why didn't they trade that on the 30-year note? They would have made um, twice the amount. So um, just curious on why the 10-year, not the 30-year. Um, but big payday. And um, just, you know, unbelievable. Who has the money? to buy that many option contracts, right? So you're thinking, you know, central bank, you know, government, sovereign wealth fund, um, just crazy. Big, big day, big, big payday. So let's look at the uh, NQ uh, over the week. I'm gonna put this on the um, CME RTH session. So we're just looking at the regular trading hour session. And um, put it on at three minutes so we can, first I want you to notice that the um, price has been supported at this yellow line that I have on my chart. Um, keep that in the back of your mind um, that we're holding support. And on the 60 minute chart, let me increase my days. If you get that weird looking band like that, you need to increase the number of days on your chart. The linear regression requires um, more days. Um, so we have this rounded chart pattern. That's called a rounded top. And um, we got back to the base of the contract. And this type of chart pattern, um, two things, if it breaks the base, it's gonna run down probably to this next level, um, just below the S2s. That crosshair back on so I can tell you where that is. About 73.24, I'll be looking for price to get down to that next leg if it breaks the base that next week. However, if it gets back to the top of that level, 76.97 where the uh, rounded part pattern started from, it's going to get way up here to 78.50. Um, or higher, 8,000. So um, that's why I said keep in the back of your mind what happened at the end of the day on that base and it's holding the base. So we're starting to get the green coming in. And those payrolls, um, it's very good. We have a very strong economy. Um, and also wage growth, the um, wages are starting to increase. And um, so all of that together, 
leads me to think that this is going to go long bullish. We had fantastic ISM manufacturing numbers and um, non, you know, both manufacturing and services. Um, ISM were both very good and strong numbers. So I'm thinking that this sell off was precipitated by that um, fat fingered option trade. 45,550, there's no fat fingering on that. That was just a directional move by somebody that very, very big pockets. Um, so I'm almost bullish, you know, thinking that this is going to go back up. So we'll just have to keep our eye on it and trade what's in front of us and not worry about direction too much. Using the um, indicators really helps. You want the 15 minute and the three minute to be going in the same direction. And then you can go inside on your tick chart and then trade that um, direction uh, using your own risk parameters, uh, risk reward parameters. Uh, I also like to make those intraday um, trading decisions based on, you know, pivots, prior day highs, lows, closes, things like that, your standard uh, trading uh, methodology as well as support resistance like we just saw on that um, rounded top. So I'm thinking that we will get a little bit of bullish action next week um, and um, continue our upside movement um, and at least get back up to that um, 78.40 next week. Uh, if this does go bullish, if it goes bearish, breaks this range early, um, look for some um, buying to step in around 7320, maybe 7300. It's what I'll be looking for. Uh, so otherwise, just very bullish on those economic numbers um, and thinking that um, We've come to the end of the road, um, maybe, for this down move, maybe. Uh, crude, uh, last week, um, had some great moves in the crude market, uh, some really good ups and downs, um, good range uh, expansions. Um, we had some days that were just, you know, very, very good uh, ranges. So um, markets are moving again. We're in the September through December time period and um, not quite sure what to make. We've got an OPEC meeting on the calendar this week. So be expecting some range movements. I think that's coming up on Tuesday. Uh, this is just, I don't know, one of those side meetings. Maybe I forget where they have those. Um, sometimes they're they're not the main meeting in December. They're one of those side meetings. And um, so be careful on uh, trading crude because of the announcements that will come out. Maybe they'll announce some, um, you know, things that have occurred um, before and after the reports report is due on um, Wednesday the 12th and I thought I saw it on the calendar before that also but um, so there will be some um, more crude trading this week than normal we also have PPI coming out um, producer price index um, for inflation jolts also on the calendar next week that's your job openings so, um, and then what else do we have on the calendar? It's not, it's going to be as a hectic week like we had this week, uh, CPI. So PPI, CPI. So inflation, um, definitely the theme for next week. Uh, retail sales finalizing the week. So, I mean, we're going to have some great trading opportunities. Um, I will have crude, um, on the forefront um, looking at that and again anytime OPEC meets you know I'm kind of looking bullish than bearish for that reason uh, they tend to drive those prices back up so um, 
a great week trading both NASDAQ and crude this week. Uh, looking forward to this September through December uh, Santa Claus rally. Uh, again, fantastic, uh, strong, strong, strong economy. And in my mind, the economy, the growth is outpacing the small amount of inflation that we have been seeing so far. So nothing to get excited about. I think the um, FOMC minutes that will, you know, undoubtedly there's been 100% baked in price on that rate hike week after next. So um, December is the only thing that they're, you know, back and forth on. What will it occur in December or not? So we will keep our eye out for these reports and let you know what happens as they occur. Otherwise, keep your eye on the monitor and just trade what's in front of us instead of our biases and we'll be in great shape. So hope you had a good week um, and um, take care. We'll talk at you soon. Thank you so much.